I've met you before, but about uh, f- 15 or 16 or 17 years ago when you were a, a tiny child. I know you're, I was at school with your dad, Chris. Yes, um, I think you're revealing your age a bit there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am very old. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so just uh, it's the uh, Kings of Wessex old boy network has finally <laughs> pulled off something good. But I have to say um, this, this the book you've written, uh, Bird Girl, is uh, fantastic and you're doing incredibly well. We're very honoured to have you. Uh, I, I wish I could tell you some stuff about your dad, but I can't remember anything too <laughs> scurrilous. It's so, it's so long ago. <laughs> Uh, what I what I didn't know was that he was a he seemed quite cool at school. Uh, you clearly didn't uh, hear about he, the he birds came, then. I did, he did not mention uh, the bird watching, <laughs> which is uh, which is what this book is all about. I feel like the bird watching stereotype. It's it's not me. It's always sort of a middle aged white bloke, and so I've sort of I yep. spent my whole life with people going, but like why why bird watching? Like of all hobbies, <laughs> why bird watching? And so like originally I wanted to write Bird Girl just so someone could read it and be like, oh yeah, okay, I, I kind of get it. And then it all just sort of spiralled out from there until it be- became the sort of big hulking hardback of a book. <laughs> 